Well, here we are in the lobby of the Minerals Resort. Uh, it's the new Saks Lodge. It's Saturday morning, and I'm um, sitting here with Ron Tambor. And Ronnie, uh, it's good to see you. How do you like it up here so far? So far, I like it very much. It's, uh, it's beautiful surroundings. Yeah. The hotel is nice, and we've had a couple of meals, and they've been good. Good. And it seems like we have a pretty good turnout this year. Yeah, it's really very pleasurable to see everybody and to see the people doing well. And everybody's so friendly and nice and loving. Okay, and um, I wondered if you wanted to speak a little bit about the uh, your memories of the early days of the Family Circle and Saks Lodge and where we've come from, where we are, and where we're going. I know that's a big question. But. It is a big question. Well, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of feelings involved in this thing. You know, I grew up in Miami, Florida. Yes. From the time I was six until I graduated college. And um, I had seen a number of people in the family over the years. We came up to New York in the summertime every now and then. I remember Tante Molly and, and Tante Marie and Paul and how loving and generous and wonderful they were. And I was only a kid, you know, 10, 12 years old at the yes. time. And, uh, and then uh, when Natalie and I got married in 1955, I was stationed at uh, Mitchell Air Force Base on Long Island. In oh, Atlanta. I remember Mitchell Air Force yeah. Base because I lived in Westbury. Right, yeah. I know. And, uh, and we were, I went on active duty there in, in, uh, in 55, and I think one of the first meetings was at your house in Westbury. We moved there in uh, 55 yeah. from uh, New York. Yeah. Yeah. So we were, we were there, and we came to the meeting, and, and Uncle Gene was president, yes. Gene Cornbooth. And, um, and I, after having grown up in Miami with so few family around, yeah. it was such a thrill for me to, uh, to participate and, and to meet my relatives and have such a loving welcome. It was a very, it was a, it was a deeply emotional experience for me, you know? uh -huh. and uh, and I remember that, and uh, and whenever we could, we came to the to the meetings, and we really enjoyed, uh, you know, so many people pop into my mind, you know, your father, and your, yeah. of course, your mother who was, was so lovely, and she's still here, and uh, Thank you. Joe and Laura, and and on and on, all the people, that and that was. That was really the beginning of the family circle meetings yeah. back then? Yeah, we used to have, we had, uh, let me see, we had, we had a meeting at, at people's homes in the, in the fall and in the spring, and then we had the Hanukkah party for the kids, and we went away to Saks Lodge. Uh, and they were just wonderful weekends. Archie and Mel were so active in, in, in really helping make the family you know, together with them, and and, and Uncle Gene's leadership and, yeah. and force, he had, he had a force about him. There was a charisma. I remember when he entered into the room, you felt this radiance, you know. Yeah. You knew that Gene Korn was there. He had this wonderful, mellifluous voice. Yes, and I there was remember. a power about him. He, 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 uh, he was awesome to me. Um, and uh, it, was, it was just wonderful for me to come up from the South to this loving, embrace this loving family. And there's that whole generation that you're speaking of now, um, all the people that I remember as the family circle, as a child and a teenager, they're no longer here with us. And we have all these new uh, children now who never even met those founders of our family circle. Uh, right. But the one thing I have to, you know, when you're saying that, it's, it's such a wonderful observation, but there's a continuity. And yeah. the continuity doesn't only begin with Henry Cornwood. The continuity goes back to Europe. When you think that my mother came here and left Budapest when she was 16 years old, and her father never got to the United States, and he was Henry's brother. Oh, yes. Yeah. Brothers. And, uh, and then Jean, who was my, my mother's brother, and Elsa, who was her sister, came here when they were teenagers to this country 
it followed my mother by a couple of years. And, uh, and of course, Elsa, unfortunately, she died uh, shortly after she gave birth to Elaine, who was a first cousin of mine. Elaine Schwartz now lives in California, and she yeah. has a sister, Roberta. Uh -huh. We're all first cousins. Uh, Elaine, Roberta, Steve, and Marty, and my brother, Stanley, who lives in Florida. Um, and so this was a nucleus family, but it had connections to the old world, had connections yeah. to Europe. I mean, your father, had certainly, to Berlin. I mean, many to of Berlin. the Congress settled in Berlin after Zakopane. You know, right. so there is that connection in our memory that goes back a few generations, not just starts with, with, with Henry. And, and that continues, and somehow the kids feel that, because when they get together, there's a family bonding. They may not see each other for a year or two or three go by. Yeah. They get together and right away they're drawn to each other. Right away. Right yes. away. Yeah. They're drawn and they feel this this blood bond. And it's amazing. Second, third cousins, twice removed. I mean, right. it's just amazing. Um, we don't really, there's not too many families that have that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I think, you know what? If you think about the people in the family, there's no outstanding noble laureates. There's no... Uh, we have some PhDs, we have some intelligent, you know, professional people, well-trained, but there's no uh, uh, Bernstein, there's no Einstein, there's yeah. no this kind of, they're just, we're all regular people who have gone to work every day and lived our lives and we all have stories. Yes. Every family has a story. Don't you think so, Danny? Oh, absolutely, yes. So many stories. Yeah, and it's wonderful just to sit here and and see our family and talk to them about our experiences and then they give us their experiences and we understand that we're all human beings who have these feelings and experiences and we can, we're like therapy for each other. You're smiling now. No, it's true. Does, it's, it, uh, does that ring a bell with it you? It does and, and I, I find you don't see some cousins for several years and when you come to the family reunion and you see them after several years, it's like it was yesterday. Yeah. You pick up right there. Yeah. 